Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial, um, mostly just eyeshadows. So this is the video response to Butter Ripples um, contest. It's a video response, obviously. B U T T A R I P P L E. That's her YouTube name. Um, so you can check it out. Now I'm going to show you all the products that I'm going to be using today to begin the video. And then I'm going to get started. First thing I'm going to be using is my LA Colors 12 color palette of eyeshadows. I'm going to be doing a purple look today. Um, my LA Colors liquid eyeliner. True Conceal by CoverGirl. My Alme One Coat Dial Up Mascara. That. My Light Nude Pink Lipstick. Which is that? Kind of like a tanny color. My e.l.f. concealer in the shade of light. And my Maybelline New York Dream Matte Powder. And then also, if I do decide to use some blush, I'm going to use Maybelline's um, blush in the shade of Wash of Winter my wintry palette. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to begin by using my concealer. Let's push my hair back so it doesn't get in my makeup. So... Okay, and then I just rub in where I put my liquid concealer, kind of rub it in to my flaw spots, and then once it's all rubbed in, it looks okay. Gotta close my concealer. Then I take my powder concealer by e.l.f. This is just a quick tutorial, um, so it's going to go by pretty fast. And then I just put the powder, normally I use my brushes, but my brushes are um, in the sink right now, I'm in the middle of washing them, so I'm just going to do, and the look that I'm going to do for you is kind of like an everyday look, it's not really one, uh, to use at night, I mean you can. I just personally I use it at night. So then you just put the concealer on, make sure it's all rubbed in and uh, blends together. Looks good. Alright, now I'm going to close my concealer. And I'm not going to use my foundation because, I don't know, I don't really like foundation. I only use it sometimes. So then I'm just going to use a tad bit of blush, just a little bit. Not too much though. Put a little bit over here. I only put on a little teeny bit because, um, I don't know. I don't do too much blush either, but we'll see. Mostly I just do my eyes a lot of times and concealer. 
Um, and then I'm going to start with my eyes now. Gotta get my mirror. In. Okay. So now the first thing I do is I'm gonna start out by using this color. I like to put on my first color. And I didn't bring my primer over here, but I do have my white um, NYC Coal Eyeliner Pencil over here. So I'm going to use that as my primer. Um, if you didn't know, sometimes white eyeliner can work as a primer. It just kind of depends, um, I guess, mainly on the thickness of it and, out and everything. It just kind of depends. So... If you want, ladies, you can try this eyeliner as your primer. This one does actually work. A lot of them don't. But normally for my primer, I use a white cream line, uh, what am I saying? A white cream eyeshadow, because that works better. Because... Sometimes, especially loose powders, eyeshadows, they don't stick well. So, I've never had an Urban Decay palette, so I couldn't tell you how that works, but we'll see. So then this is my light purple. I'm going to use, it's kind of hard to see on the cam. Just put it on my lid. Just all over my lid. And then I take it and I do it on the other side. And like I said, I just apply it all over the lid so that you have a very bright color right now, but you're not done yet, so it's okay. Then I'm gonna take the next darkest shade, which is this one. I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my eyelid and blend it in towards the um, middle so that it's not as bright. And do it for the other eye too. Once that's done, it's going to be a little darker. It's going to look a lot better when you do that. The next step that I do is I do in the crease. And I'm going to do a little bit darker. And just do it all in the crease. Blending it with the other colors. So then it gets a lot darker. You'll notice on the cam. Do it for both eyes and then you're going to take the darkest color and you're just going to apply it to the outer corner of your eye blending it in again towards the center and up in the crease Make sure that it blends, otherwise you're going to look like a hot mess when you're done. So there's my eyeshadows right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and if you want a closer view. Okay. Then I'm going to take my LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner in black. I use gel a lot sometimes, or er, 
I like to use gel a lot. I only use this one sometimes, but um, this one's good when you want to do wings or thin lines. And that's all I want to do right now, so. Then I just apply it to my top lid. So that's what I did. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. This time I'm doing it, I'm doing wings right now, kind of, like little wings. And a lot of times throughout the day, I'll have to um, redo my liner when I use this LA Colors. I wouldn't recommend this liquid liner. Um, I would recommend the, uh, I don't know if it's Revlon or Maybelline, but it's called Color Stay. And it's a smaller bottle, so you get less, but it's a lot higher quality. This LA Colors one flakes off very easily, and it's just kind of a pain in the butt to use all the time, so I just don't really use it. Um, like I said, I only use that one sometimes. And now what I do is I apply some foundation to my lips. But I don't use too much, like at all. Like I only use a little bit. I just want to get them a little more nudey than they will be if you don't. So I just apply. Just one coat will do. Um, just like I said, just a little bit. Um, because if you use a lot then not only will it make it look gross but it also is just I don't know just doesn't look right and then after I'm done applying the foundation I use my nude lipstick point where it looks good. And then uh, for the most part that's my complete look. But you're not done yet. You still have to do mascara. So I'm going to use my Almay Dial Up Mascara. This is my last step because it's um I don't like getting my eyeshadow dirty so sometimes like I don't like getting like the mascara on my eyeshadow which sometimes happens so I like sometimes don't do this step so if I do I add it in at the end but I'm gonna apply it So there's the one eye is done. Mascara helps to give you a more full lash look. Um, and it, it kind of brightens your eyes. The darker the stuff around your eyes, the brighter your eyes look. There you go, and then that 
is my completed look. Sometimes I'll add some eyeshadow underneath of the eye, like under the lower lash line, but I don't always do that, so I didn't show you. Um, but I guess. Well, I'm not going to do that right now, but if you'd like to see that too, just let me know in a comment below, and I will make a whole nother tutorial um, showing you exactly.